This lever system means the strength of just one man can raise the canopy. But look how far his arm has to move. The lever repeatedly moves through quite a distance. But the rope it's pulling only moves a centimetre or two. So although machines make a job easier, it sometimes means you have to spend longer on each task. These are all levers. They look different, but they have one thing in common, and that's a fixed point called a pivot about which the lever moves. For an oar, the pivot is here. On a wheelbarrow, the pivot is at the centre of the wheel. The object being moved by the lever is called the load. The force applied is called the effort. For a pair of scissors, the pivot is in the middle. The load is the item you're cutting through. The effort is the force applied by your fingers. Even a javelin thrower is an example of a lever. The thrower's shoulder acts as the main pivot. The load is the javelin and the effort is the force applied to throw it. A lever always involves a turning action. Once you start looking, levers are absolutely everywhere. See how many you can spot during Natalie and Damien's day out at the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway. There's over 20. Just look for a pivot and a turning action. Everything, from the levers in the cab to the signal box and the porter's trolley, involves the turning action of a lever. So just how many levers did you spot? <laughs> <laughs>